Okay, good morning. Good morning. As we approach uh, the nine days and the coming of Mashiach, who's born on Tisha B'Av, let us uh, ask for Rafur Shlema for those who need Rafur. We'll start with Baruch Benyamin Ben Rachel Blima, Devor Rachel Ben Miriam Chava, Leah Gala Ben Stina, Hanka Ben Miriam, and Benyamin Bear Ben Chava. Baruch Hashem, Rafu Hashem. And Yehuda Skolta, Bas Aliza Hana. Oh, wait. No, I can't hear. Yehudis Golda Basiliza Hana and Shoshana Bas Hana and um Haim Yaakov Haim Yaakov um Zev Ben Sara I already got you already got Bara Okay Okay thank you Foolish Lama Foolish Lama You took five ish Ben Brian and Mal Foolish Lama and Fega uh, Bas Shoshana and Esther Fega Bas Chaya Rachel. Rafu Shlema. Hayom Yom. 29. Erev Meshchedesh. 29 Tamas. We have a handwritten note of the Tzemat Tzedek, which was discovered, and its contents are the contents of this note from the Tzemat Tzedek. He had determined to study Talmudic and Halachic texts six hours every night, standing. He had, thank God, fulfilled this and completed the study of the entire Talmud, Bavli and Yerushalmi, and the four divisions of the Shulchan Aruch, all studied in depth. So with this emphasis on Torah study, we'll have a connection here to today's Tanya, speaking about Shuba Allah which have primarily, as we'll see, has to do with the levels of shuva in the mind, uh, particularly through Ian and studying and concentration in Torah. And this begins a new chapter, chapter 9, page 1090 in Lessons in Tanya. And in Lakuti Amorim, Lakuti Amorim, Page 196. So you may recall that we started, uh, and well, we introduced really in some some degree of length the notion of the difference between Shuva Tata, the lower Shuva, and Shuva Elah, the higher Shuva, each one corresponding to the two A's in Hashem's name, because Teshuva is Tashuv A. That's the word, Toshu Hey. And the first level of Shuvah, I'll just uh, read a little bit from the from the Perak Olive, just translating in English. The first level of Shuvah. The mitzvah of, uh, of Shuvah, now this is Shuvah Tata, the beginning of Shuvah, the lower Shuvah, is to abandon the sin, Bilvad. The Gemara says, all you have to do is abandon the sin and turn around. That's why I call it just turn around, change direction, and move into First, and decide completely in your heart, with a complete heart, that you will no longer return to any foolish ways. And on the contrary, you will return to the ways of Hashem. That's, in a nutshell, Shuvah Tata. And Shuvah Allah, the Allah, we said, is, uh, to quote now from uh, our, our uh, Tanya of Shabbos, the Zohar says, the Esasik Biraisi Bidahila Birahimo to be occupied in Torah with love and fear. And this is, in other words, since Torah, this this is the upper hay, right? And the upper hay is Bina, which is part of the mind. And the Torah is the mind of Hashem. It's the expression of Hashem's mind. So to be united with Hashem at that level, this is what he said briefly is Shuba Elah. And now he's going to discuss it in more length and breath. So we'll start paragraphs. Ubiradinian, to explain this topic, the topic of Shuba Ilah, 
Mishikotza B'Zoya Kodesh, as is written in the Zohar Kodesh, with the Kunim, in that section called the Tikunim, the Kama Makoimos in many places. What? It says the Bina, Bina is Chokma and Bina, that faculty of mind called Bina, Ihu Teshuva Ilah. That's Teshuva Ilah, right? If, if Teshuva is the letter He, returning to He, so we have Yud K, Chokma, Bina. The previous one, Shuvah Law, was Malchus, the latter He. So this is restoring Bina to its place. And that's the idea of uh, Shuvah Law. And this is parallel to or expressed by, uh, in the mitzvah of Shiluach HaKan, to take the eggs from the uh, from the bird. It says, Va'em revetzes al ha'afruchim. In that context, the Torah speaks about the mother crouching on her eggs, right? So the mother, of course, is Bina. Uh, Malchus is the daughter, and Bina is the mother. So this is the mother crouching on the chicks, not the eggs, the chicks. The Hainu, meaning what? What is that metaphor about? Jaliadeshim is boinim. Crouching on the chicks you know, and is utilizing one's faculty of Bina. Really you know, as I am now, sort of bending into it in my mind. Misbainim, to contemplate. Begedulis Hashem, in the greatness of Hashem. Beha'omkis hadas, with a deep, deep understanding, a deep knowledge. Knowledge which penetrates, remember, Bina is connected with the heart through das. Das integrates the mind and the head. So to meditate in the greatness of Hashem, in a depth of understanding, and to give birth as a result of this, a mother who gives birth, intellectual love and fear. Right? We know, we've learned before, that all the ten spheres inter-include each other. So even in Seichel, there's Chesed Sheba Seichel, there's Gabura Sheba Seichel, etc. And to arouse those Midas Sheba Seichel, the Chile Berechim Sichel, the Chile is love, and the Himo is also mercy. And to do this so that one has literally a good taste, a good flavor of this in one's mind. As it says, love Hashem mishum for a reason. In other words, to attach your love of Hashem to a intellectual function of grasping and understanding with reason. Because because he is your life. It's not sufficient to just have the love, uh, the love in the, and the natural love, which is hidden in the heart. Every one of us have that, but one has to add to it the love that's cultivated by intellectual, mindful, that's a better word, mindful contemplation, but not just in Never Never Land, mindful contemplation in the Torah. Remember this, we started this. This is grasping and clinging to the Bina, the understanding of Hashem as it's invested in the Torah. The Chayin Be'yira, that's love. And also the Yira, Upachat, like Boisha, or humility, Benoida. All of those Midos, have a place in the mind as well. They originate in the mind, right? Moyach shalat alalev, the first principle of Tanya, the, the brain rules over the heart. So to connect with the Midos as they are in their source. Azai nikrosa aim rovetzes al hafruchi. That's when your mind connects to Hashem. And your Midos as they are in your mind connects to Hashem. That's called the mother crouching over the, the chicks. The chicks are the offspring. And the main, the root love, which is the higher of the two, love and fear, is clinging, breath to breath, or, or spirit to spirit. As is written in Shira Shirim, I kiss him with the kisses of his mouth. Ruach, breath, comes from the mouth, mouth to mouth, as is known. 
said, So this is pshat in with all your heart is the midos, that's the daughter, that's the lower. But bechol nafshecha, shehem heim kol helchein nefesh, all the parts of the soul, including, as we're emphasizing here, the mindful parts of the soul, particularly bina. Shekot seichel umidos, who cling to Hashem with seichel and midos, ulevushehem and their garments, which are most shavadiva and maisa, which we learned earlier are the three uh, garments of the soul, thought, speech, and deed. But dovka kulan, to have that entire structure clinging to Hashem, boy, into him is borach. The hainu ha midos sov, our midos in his midos, as he said, just as he is merciful, we should be merciful, as he is kind, we should be kind. My hu rakam, and that's what it says, just as he is merciful, etc. The haseichel, so that's midos sheba midos, our midos aligned with his midos. But here we're emphasizing our mind aligned with his mind because that's, we're coming back to soon, Torah. This is a, a shuba law expressed through clinging to the Torah, to the mind of Hashem. The hainu, okay, so Ravka, Rahmanus, for instance, midos be midos, our midos with his midos, mahu racham, etc. The hasechel be and our intellect with his intellect. Where do you find his intellect? Of course, in the Torah. And our seichel should be united with his seichel and his wisdom. May he be blessed. May he be blessed. Who in in ha Torah? So this is this emphasis. Shuba Eloah is in ha Torah to sink one's mind into God's mind. In ha Torah, because the Torah is drawn from God's Chochmah. Now coming back to the, the three garments, one's thought in his thought, the Hadiba B'divar Hashem, and one's speech in God's speech. Now there's a complete alignment between our mind and his mind, our thought and his thought, his our speech and his speech. Yes, which is halacha. Speech, his speech is the halacha. And where are you deriving halacha from? From the Torah. Because the Kosev has written the Pasuk, it's a Pasuk in, in Isaiah, and I will put my words in your mouth. This is God speaking. I will put my words in your, our mouth. And the words which I place in your mouth. These are the words of Torah. So that's Machshava, thought and speech, and the last garment, the Maisa and the Maisa, who Maisa Hatsadaka, right? We always come back to this. Maisa Hatsadaka. So Daka is the model of giving over yourself to somebody else. And that somebody else is also Hashem, giving over yourself to Hashem. So complete giving over, putting yourself aside, not only thought, speech, but of course, indeed, where the rubber meets the road, so to speak, that's the tachlis of it all. To give life to those who are fallen, those who are distressed and down and out. Because of it is written, it says, in six days Hashem created, God's tzedakah to us. In other words, it's in six days. He took his six midos and he gave of himself. He gave, I mean, he came out of himself from his head, right? And invested the beginning of the light, which becomes the light of creation. And he brings that down and down and down. All of this is his tzedakah. So we, just as he has, is he, it says, just as he is a rachim, as he is a merciful one, so we should be as well. But Zuhi and all of this, getting yourself together, starting with the head, the higher A, the Bina, Avana, understanding, his boininess, contemplation, meditation, steeping one's mind in the Torah, which is the mind of God. So, Zuhi, Zuhi, Davkus, Rucha, Berucha. This is clinging to God, spirit to spirit or breath to breath. As we said earlier, they blow the spirit of, of, of the breath 
a kiss. Ruka Baruka. The Tachlis of the Bankers with a complete clinging, the Hagifud, and a complete unity. The Shehi Machmas Ava, which comes from this spawning of intellectual or mindful love and fear, which brings down the heartful love and fear. Now, what causes the separation at the level of mind? What causes, we know that at the level of action, our actions can be actions, as we said at the beginning, which are loyal Hashem, Hayimah, they're not to God. And we can and we can separate with our actions, we can separate with our speech, all the negative expressions like flesh and, flesh and horror, and with our mind. So mind, mindful, mind, the separation at the mind is a pagam, it's a blemish in the covenant. The Hesos Zerul of Atala, for example, in uh, seed in vain, vain Soraklias the Rayas, and it goes without saying, all other kinds of sexual immorality, or Shar Isod Bia, or prohibited relationships, of, of which, are, which are from the Torah, or the Rabbanan. Because the, the root of this is because the seed comes from the brain both in the mother and in the, the father, that's the seed or the egg, uh, its origin is in the mind. And particularly here, we're speaking of the masculine types of things, when Zerul of Atala, but then he goes on to other kinds of any immoral relationship that involves that kind of perversion of that deep essence which comes from the mind. He says, Ki and he speaks parenthetically, uh, uh, he was speaking about isurim, various isurim, for instance, in, in sexual things, either from the Torah or from the Rabbanin. And he says about the Rabbanin, ki hamurim sefer. This is a question we brought it in uh, Tanya. There's a certain strictness in laws of the Rabbanin over the Torah, meaning what? The, the, the laws of the Rabbanin are a fence to the Torah. So if you don't observe the fence, you could fall into the pit, right? So that way, the fence becomes very important. So divrei seifrim are a fence to the are a fence to falling off the cliff, so to speak. That was just parenthetically. That's a little parenthesis. But when the, one does these things, hoigim b'moya, as he says clearly, that makes a blemish in the brain, because the seed comes from the brain. Loche, therefore, since the blemish is in the brain, b'moya. So the fixing comes from occupying oneself in Torah, from putting the mind back in its place of holiness, which is thoughts and literally is asik, making your occupation, your business in the Torah. Because the Torah, you know, just like the analogy of the seed, is drawn from God's deepest brain, which is Mecha Chokma. The part of Chokhmah. This is what's written in the Reshis Rabbah, or maybe this is what's said in the Reshis Rabbah, in that part of the Reshis Rabbah, called Tana de Ve'eliyahu, it says, Odom over Averos, in his Chayim Misa Lamakim, if a person transgresses of errors, sins, and he's obligated in death, these are serious sins. In, in front of Hashem. He's obligated to uh, death in front of Hashem. Maya asa What should he do in order to live? Im daf echad. So it's all going to now refer to Torah study. How to make, to fix those things. Start with the mind, the brain. Im daf echad. If you're accustomed to, to learn one page, yikra bez dafim. Now learn two pages. The shanas perach echod yeshana beis parochem. If your habitual study is to review one perach, now review two parochim. Vahainu kamoshel hevel. So this is like a muscle of that root rope again. We keep coming back to that multi-stranded rope, 613 strands. So if one of them is nifsak, the muscle of a rope, which is one a strand is clipped, nifsak, interrupted, and you go back and you tie it back together again. So at the place where you tied it, it's now doubled over. So this is called shuba. If you've 
averted your mind, when you strengthen that, that those strands which have been broken by tying them, you now got a double thickness there. So he says also in the rope, which is our inheritance, which is you know, all of the 613 misfits as they originate where? In the Torah. And this is what, uh, this is what scripture says in Mishle. With, with kindness and with truth. I said, of course, is Amida. And emes is Torah, and emes el Torah, with hesed and truth, yechuper oven or yechayfir oven, the iniquities are forgiven. But in emes, and there's no truth, el Torah it says in Gemara Brochus, this is the line, ain emes el Torah comes from the Gemara Brochus. The oven base eli, and the sin of Beis Eli, Eli was a, and I'm not sure which generation, maybe someone else, but he was a, he was a Kohen Gadol. And his children were Kahanim. And amongst the things they did, they totally disparaged the, uh, the offerings and took the offerings for themselves. But they were also involved in sexual immorality uh, and other things. The Oven Beis Eli, Bezevach Ominko, but he's speaking about another Korban. They disparage the korban, uh, the slaughterings, and the mincha offerings. The ene miskaper, and they were not atoned. Havo miskaper b'tayra. So they, the atonement that they needed uh, was not only through uh, miskaper, their forgiveness, their the, the scouring of their sin was only b'tayra. Ugemilas chasodim, they had to combine, and as we do, and this is his lesson really for today, Gemilus Chasodim, meaning that's the Maisa of the Mitzvahs. Of course, we have to return to those. But at the same time, we have to return to them at their source. We have to become mindful Jews as well as actionable Jews. And the Shuvah Allah, which we're talking about, is hitting that level of mindfulness, that level of Chokhmah and Bina, which is the Torah. As is brought in the end of the first parak of the Gemara. Rosh Hashanah. And that's today's topic. Shuvah Allah, Shuvah Ma'chesed Sheba Maya, the Ava that's in as a function of his bindiness. And how do you, this is also kind of indicative of his bindiness. His bindiness is not, the, as the world calls meditation, I mean, there, and there is meditation, you know, just emptying the mind or focusing the mind. But here it's focusing and gripping with your mind, the source of all mind, the source of mindfulness itself, which is the Hakma and the That's Torah, as Shuba Ilah. Any comments or questions? I mean, so we have a simple Ubehain. We need to learn more and keep this Kavias and add other Kavias. One of the important things that we did learn in Tanya, which I'll bring to the table, is the importance of kavias itim with Torah. Yes, learning Torah is important. But one of the functions of making fixed times is an expression, expression hergal nasa tevashemi. Something you become accustomed to becomes your second nature. So by making kavias itim in Torah, your second nature now gets trained to be a Torah nature. So that's a bechay. Anybody else? Quiet today. Okay. So Amir Sashem, we'll see you tomorrow. Rosh Chaydish. Bye-bye. Thank you.